Managing refrigerant in the MetroQuick app is one of the newest features we added and it's probably one of my favorites. Let me show you how to do it. So the first thing you got to look at is there's multiple places we can adjust the refrigerant. We can do it in the, uh, at the top of the screen or if we're in the information screen, we can just tap on the refrigerant, in this case, 410A. By default, MeasureQuick has the refrigerant set up as 410A, R22, blue one, which is our 458A, and then 404A. And I can rearrange those or add or remove whatever I want to do. So let's say that for a second here, I've got R502 and R12, and I want to add those uh, two refrigerants to the application. Well, then all I have to do is just do a quick search, and obviously R12 is at the top. So there's a star right next to it, and I'm just going to click on the star. It's going to keep the refrigerant start in the bottom, but it's going to add it to my favorites list up top. Now down at the bottom here, I'm going to type in R502. That's going to pull up to 502, and again, I tap on the star, and that's going to add that refrigerant to my quick list. Now at the top, over above that, if I want to move that around, I just hit the little uh, edit button at the top here. That pulls up a bunch of hamburger menus down the side, and I, all I do is click on one, and I can drag and drop it wherever I want to go. If I want to remove one from my list, like let's say I quit using R502, I just click the star on there, and that's going to remove it. You can remove R12, and we're back to the list. If I want to get my full list of refrigerants back, all I need to do here is just hit the delete key, and it'll pull my full list of refrigerants back in so I can then search and add anyone to my list I want to add. Now, one more thing here on some of the refrigerants, we do have an I button. You'll see the I in there, and if you tap on that I, what it's telling you is some information about high glide refrigerants. Make sure you read that because you'll notice and sometimes in the Testo applications or the field piece applications, if you use those, that the superheat and subcooling are calculated a little bit differently. And we do that on purpose because in Measure Quick, we're using midpoint and weighted midpoint to calculate the average temperature of the evaporator and condenser coil. And then we're using dew point and bubble point for superheat and subcooling respectively. So that is the way it should be done and not all the manufacturers are doing that yet, but it's something that we do that's a little bit unique and makes Measure Quick a more powerful product. And really that's all you need to do to, to manage your refrigerants, quick and easy to do. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them at the bottom of the video.